multi-agency team led by the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Professor George Magoha, is expected to address the nation on the full reopening of all learning institutions. The team that brings together ministries of interior and coordination of national government, ICT and the Ministry of Health is expected to restate government's confidence in preparations in place ahead of the reopening. Our reporter Sam Ogina is at the KICC and joins us live. Sam, what can we expect in the briefing? Ah, well, Mukami, remember this is the moment that the country has been waiting for, coming on a day that uh, the COVID-19 containment measures actually lapses uh, on the midnight of 3rd of January, which is today on Sunday. And of course, uh, that, that is the reason why we are here at the KICC waiting for the multi-agency team actually to make a briefing uh, on the way forward, really. And of course, also this coming on a day that is on the eve of uh, the, school's, the school reopening calendar. And uh, that's why uh, the Education Cabinet Secretary, George Magoha, will be leading uh, uh, the multi-agency team just to uh, lay down the blueprint and the roadmap of uh, the school's reopening and of course remember that Magoha has been making tours across the country just to see how schools are prepared uh, in terms of uh, uh, the reopening tomorrow and uh, the cabinet secretary quite categorical that uh, people should uh, neglect and actually block the ears from the from the toxic noise he called it uh, from the stakeholders and the politicians who uh, feel like the country is, is, is not prepared prepared fully uh, to have kids back to school and of course telling parents that at least uh, they should be giving their, their, their children at least uh, uh, two masks that are able to be reused or actually washable uh, for them to, to uh, go right ahead uh, and uh, enroll in schools. Uh, of course, Mago has saying that uh, they anticipate challenges in terms of social distancing because schools have raised concerns that uh, they don't have new classes to actually accommodate uh, or better yet to, to be able to spare uh, children uh, to factor in the social, distance, the social distancing uh, measure and uh, saying that of course uh, uh, the school schools has, they remain underfunded but uh, Mago has been quite categorical saying that no no country really has been able to build new schools uh, to, to actually battle the COVID-19 uh, pandemic in terms of uh, uh, ensuring that kids are able to space themselves uh, in school as it were. And of course, something else that we'll be looking out for uh, from this particular briefing is uh, uh, what will be the next, uh, what, what is actually the way forward uh, in terms of uh, the curfews that we've been having, the nationwide curfew, the uh, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. nationwide curfew. Is it going to be extended or uh, is it going to be lifted? because remember that it comes at a time where uh, uh, the tax regime actually revert back to uh, the initial tax regime that used to be after, of course, the COVID-19 uh, tax measures uh, were or were repealed for that matter in, in the National Assembly just uh, uh, the other day uh, in December when the National Assembly had a special uh, special session of, 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 of the National Assembly. Uh, so if at all these tax measures are coming into play, uh, then it, that, that actually reflects on, on the economy. So in terms of moving forward, are we going to have uh, the curfew still enforced at the same time uh, when an economy is operating within very limited, uh, uh, limited hours? And so... That will also probably give a bearing uh, on the curfew as it were. Of course, remember that also uh, the Interfaith Council, they got a six-month extension uh, to help the government in terms of COVID-19 uh, measures in places of worship. So also we'll be looking out for uh, the Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe. Uh, what, will we, what will he be having for the nation in terms of moving forward, in terms of enforcement of uh, uh, the COVID-19 measures? Uh, what measures will be relaxed, if at all, and what measures will be enforced? Uh, what other measures will be introduced, if at all? And so the whole, the, a whole spectrum, really, of uh, moving, the, move, moving forward uh, in terms of uh, the COVID-19 containment measures, given that uh, uh, these measures actually lapse uh, uh, midnight tonight. Mokami? Now, Sam, yesterday CS Magoha had mentioned providing masks to those who are needy and to some of the schools. Can you confirm if that has taken place or if there are plans to do that currently? Uh, he had actually alluded to the fact that uh, they're going to do that in terms of priority and uh, w whether the government has already done that, that is uh, maybe subject for, for confirmation once he addresses and also something else probably that uh, we'll be looking out for is uh, the 
uh, 19 billion shillings for free uh, free education, of which uh, 14 billion shillings was supposed to be disbursed to uh, secondary schools, and uh, 5 billion shillings is supposed to be disbursed to primary schools. Uh, that was said that it will be done by Monday, tomorrow. And uh, of course, maybe just to check with him if at all uh, Treasury has acted on its part, and uh, if at all schools, when they reopen tomorrow, uh, they'll be having their, their, their funds available in their accounts. And so some of the factors that probably will be uh, waiting to hear from uh, the Cabinet Secretary uh, Education, the Cabinet Secretary Health, uh, there is also the Cabinet Secretary Interior, uh, and, uh, and as well Cabinet Secretary for ICT, Joe Musheru. So uh, probably hear from the government delegation on how uh, the country will be moving forward from here uh, onwards, and also for how long.